dialectic is a difficult concept to grasp because we're not used to thinking in dialectical terms. We're used to thinking in terms of identity and contradiction. We're not used to thinking in terms of an imminent critique, of a critique from within. So one of the things that I think helps us to grasp difficult issues is the process of repetition. In Hegel's lectures on logic, in the introduction to this text, and his introductions are often quite great, he defines what dialectic is on page 73. He says, Dialectic is the passage of determinations into their opposites. So, what Hegel is referring to here, he's referring to the definition of concepts. He's referring to the attributes of concepts. So when he says determinations into their opposites, he's simply referring of the definition of a concept that actually passes into its opposite when you analyze the definition according to the axioms or the standards upon which that definition is based are upon which that concept is based. So he says, what is dialectical is the passage of determinations into their opposites. So a concept has a definitive meaning. It has an identity. And what dialectic is, it's the passage of that identity into its opposite identity, essentially. He says, passage to a thing's opposite is commonly viewed as the result of hunting about it externally to find its opposite. So we would look for its opposite outside of it somewhere. We're looking for another concept. So if it's the concept of identity, we're looking for another concept that is not the concept of identity to essentially use that outer concept to bring the original concept into an opposition. He says, but true dialectic is the determinate apprehension of something according to the determination to which it is destined. Okay, so true dialectic is not merely external oppositions. It is not thesis and antithesis. It is not two opposing forces that are colliding with each other. But true dialectic is the determinate apprehension of something according to the determination to which it is destined. So it means that consciousness apprehends the limitation within the determination, or we can say that true dialectic means that consciousness apprehends the development of a concept in such a way that that concept ends up moving away from itself or manifests that it contains its opposite. The concept of identity evolves, develops in such a way that consciousness realizes that at the presuppositional level, the concept of identity contains difference within the concept. The presuppositional structure of the concept of identity actually contains difference within it. In order to make sense of identity, in order to make it an intelligible, comprehensive concept, 
when we analyze it dialectically, consciousness understands that at the presuppositional axiomatic base, the concept of identity actually does in fact presuppose the concept of difference in order to make sense of identity itself. That's why identity says that it is not different from itself. It has to ultimately use this concept of difference to determine itself, to make its distinction, to make itself intelligible, to make itself something other than itself so that it can become intelligible. So it, it adds content to it in order to make the concept intelligible. Hegel says, true dialectic peers in to such a definition as is provided by the understanding and contemplates what is contained therein. It's very important. So true dialectic is engaged in this act of peering into a definition or a concept. And it's, it's peering into a definition or a concept that is provided by immediacy. Or try to make this clear. It's peering into a concept that is provided by the understanding. But in Hegel, the understanding is something that merely grasps something on the surface at the appearance. It does not penetrate or peer into the essence of that thing, so it actually has a distorted understanding of that thing. So true dialectic peers into determinations. It peers into, it's skeptical in this way. It probes into this way. It doesn't just take the definition at face value, but it pushes deeper into it to find out whether or not the concept is itself made up merely of the simple claim or the simple premise. It probes beneath the surface of the definition's proclamation of itself. So it peers into, um, from the understanding, from the level of what we might almost call intuition, the surface level of understanding, the appearance, we might call it that, and it contemplates what is contained in the appearance, what is contained within the immediacy of the form that presents itself to us. This is the secret strength of dialectic, that it, it does not allow itself to be duped by the impulse of appearance. So it contemplates what is contained therein, whereupon it results that, without anything being brought from the outside, the definition by its very content contradicts itself. So the presuppositions that make up the definition, the axioms that make up the definition, it is this content that contradicts the definition from within. It's called an imminent critique, a critique from within. So it contradicts it from within. So it's not a thesis and an antithesis that are coming into collision with each other, but dialectic probes into the concept itself, into the thing itself to break apart its plurality, to find its diverse plurality. And that is what Hegel is essentially describing right here. Without anything being brought in from the outside, the definition by its very content contradicts itself. So while it claims to be one thing, it presupposes something else. While identity claims to be simple appearance of something, that simple appearance of what it claims to be has to make use of difference 
The concept of identity must make use of difference to make itself intelligible. That attribute is presupposed at the foundational level of the concept of identity. Difference is contained within the ontological structure of identity itself. That's what Hegel's getting at. But what dialectic is doing is that it's making the human conscious of this. So instead of being duped by the impulsive appearance, the impulsive surface presentation, consciousness is now using a dialectical logic to probe into the thing itself, to break apart the diversity and difference that lies within it. He says, this does not occur by comparing one determination externally with another. He's, see, Hegel is driving this point home, that the dialectic, true dialectic, he says, is not external opposition. It is not thesis, antithesis, and then, of course, everyone adds the synthesis. But that's not what dialectic is. Hegel is using repetition to make the point that this does not occur by comparing one determination externally with another because it's happening from an internal critique, what is called an imminent critique, a critique from within. This is the genius of dialectic, that it essentially gets consciousness to engage in this internal critical process. That's the genius of dialectic. It, it rouses, it teaches human consciousness through dialectical logic how to do an imminent critique, a critique from within, which means that the primate is emancipated from mere appearance and mere impulse. Dialectic is an expansion of rationality in this sense because it is liberating the primate from the simplicity, the lie of mere appearance, or the lie of proclaiming the surface, or taking the surface for a form of totality. So dialectic is essentially an expansion in human consciousness that is achieved through rationality, or through a form of a logical procedure which critiques from within. This does not occur by comparing one determination externally with another. Hegel says it rather transpi transpires simply within the first determination itself. That is the important point. That the difference, the determination, the expansion, the diversity is contained within the original concept itself, with the original thing itself. It was always there because the nature of reality is complex. It is diverse. It is multiplicity. It is not a monoform. It is not a one-sided form. Reality is made up of multiplicity. And so Hegel is talking about a logic. Dialectical logic is a logic that helps us to try and understand this complex nature of reality, to emancipate our consciousness so that we are no longer deceived by abstract idealism, by a one-sided idealism, by a monological idealism that we impose on reality and that we fallaciously take from reality. Instead, when we probe into the thing itself, when we probe into the concept of self, we find it contains diversity and multiplicity that is bound up in a unity. So dialectic is a rational process that helps humans to be emancipated from their impulse structures, their cognitive impulse structures. And Hegel has tried to achieve this by trying 
to help us to understand what it means to do an imminent critique. Not external oppositions, but using consciousness, using reason, using logic to critique from within.